Well, Jimmy, first of all, just a quick word about Boston. Um, obviously, disappointing result, but how did you assess the performance? Probably the worst of my, 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 uh, my, my time in charge, so very disappointed with our application, our work ethic. Um, I think we all had the sense that we didn't work hard enough, and that's not just without the ball. It's you know working on us to get on the ball and create passing channels so we can link and we can sustain possession. Um, and looking back at the, the physical data, it was it was much lower than it has been in recent weeks. You know, almost to the comparison of we almost played with a player less in terms of our physical output in recent weeks. So that's very very disappointing. I've addressed that with the players. Um, we had a good analysis session on Monday morning. We spoke about a few other things. We spoke about you know the non-negotiables and the non-negotiables are working hard and running around and and we didn't have that on on Saturday against Boston. Because to be fair, that wouldn't be an accusation you could level at the squad normally. No, it isn't. No, no, no. Um, you know, and again, we, you know, we're quite fortunate that we have the GPS units, and you know, we're able to, to look at look at data. Um, you know, and, and I've been I've been really really proud of the boys' intensity, their work ethic, their application, and you know, in all the other games, you know, we've we've kind of covered between one hundred six and one hundred eight, and our top top uh, total distance against Blythe, one hundred thirteen kilometres, which you know, obviously worked. You know, at a, a good standard and a good level, and. You know, championship clubs will probably get anywhere anywhere in the region between one hundred six and one eleven. You know, so the boys, you know, the boys are capable of of putting some really, really good shifts in physically. Sometimes in a dressing room beforehand, can you sense if things aren't quite right? And I wonder if that was the case at Boston. You know, if you've been around a while, you can sense that maybe the the feeling isn't quite right before a game. No, um, probably did after the first ten fifteen minutes. I said to the players at half time, I felt I've got quite a, a quite a tactical lens when I watch it, watch games and. You know, I was quite frustrated that a lot of my information was about working hard and about energy and you know working to an intensity and I felt I had to work too hard to get the players to work hard on, on Saturday and um, so yeah no nothing before the game you know we prepared in exactly the same manner the same fashion we didn't have a four week training due to the frozen pitches on Monday and Tuesday so that that hampered us a little bit we had to work around that and work smart and work in the gym um, you know, so we didn't have a full week in terms of our football on the on the grass, um, but didn't sense anything before. You know, as I said Thursday and Friday, our preparation was you know was as it as it was. We game planned, we prepped, we had the team meeting. Nothing was you know nothing was too dissimilar. So, um, as I said, you know, about ten fifteen minutes, I, I got, got kind of got a got a feeling that the boys weren't weren't at, weren't at the races. You would know better than I would that that application and that intensity is going to have to be spot on this weekend at Kings Lynn. It is, yeah, it is, yeah, and everything comes into into one pot in terms, you know, tactically, technically, physically, mentally, you know, sort us being spot on. And we've had a good week today. We've got um we've got a good day today where we'll we'll break things down and we'll work um, in in units. So the defenders will work on their own for fifteen minutes with a, with a coach. Um, midfield plays the same, forwards the same. Then we'll bring it together in eleven v eleven. So you know we can have a real real good tactical hit today. Uh, some good work on the grass. Um, you know, I think we've, I think as a group, you know, we've kind of, kind of spoke about where we need to be and what we need to do and how we need to focus on, on, on improving. And you know, there's been, there has been some positive performances, but ultimately, you know, it's about winning games and, and getting three points. And you know, we've found ourselves in a position over the last five games where we've lost four. Um, I've never gone through that in my in my career as a coach. Um, there probably be some players in the changing room who were very, very familiar with that in terms of their league form this season. So, you know, we look at it. You know, I, I look at. I've only been in the building seven, seven, eight weeks. It's going to take time to change things around, but we have to, we have to, we have to work very, very quickly to to get some positive results um, and get some points on the board. Yes, because without wishing to overstate it, you're kind of looking over your shoulder a bit towards uh, you know the bottom of the table now. Because we are, yeah, and you know, and you look, you know, I'm a I'm a realistic person, realistic coach, realistic human being, and I look at it, you know, and our league position is no different to, to when I walked in the building seven, seven eight weeks ago. Um, what I like to think is I like to think, you know, we've worked smartly on the pitch. Um, we've amended the training programme slightly. We've had a positive run of results in a, in a festive period where we were unbeaten in three. Um, you know, and then kind of in three games in eight days kind of gazumped us, you know, a little bit and, you know, set us off track. And then we think we're back on form and we, with a 1-1 draw against Spenny Moore and then, then we lose again. So, um, you know... I look at this and I understand that the club are in a, a certain predicament, a certain place, and you know we have to work hard and smart to, to get ourselves out of it. You presume you've had a look at uh, Kings Lynn, at least on, uh, on video or the equivalent of. Um, what do you see as being their particular strengths? They have a threat in, threat in the final third. Um, you know they've got two goal scorers up top. Um, one's a very, very, you know, a, a big problem, a big threat with his body work and his ability to contest in the air. And the other one's a natural goal scorer. You know, he scored a lot, a lot of goals. So um, we're going to have to be spotting in our defending third, um, try and limit the amount of times they get in around that territory. But when it's in there, you know, we have to go to work and we have to defend and get pressure on the ball. So, um, you know, they're a good footballing team. They, you know, they, they, they seem to, to, to play 
a nice brand of football, a nice style of football. But their biggest threat would no doubt be their, be their front four. What have you seen has been the main differences? I mean, obviously quality of player, I guess, between working at West Brom and coming here. I mean, they're both full-time clubs, obviously, but what have you seen has been the major differences? Um, we, we, without doubt, I mean, the, we've, got, we've got a group of players that have high technical ability and high quality, and you know, otherwise they wouldn't be full-time footballers and wouldn't be playing for Kimster Arias. Um, I think the biggest thing is, and, and this is right through the levels, you know, this will be from champ to Premier League also, is decision making, you know, making the right decision at the right time, and uh, maybe sometimes to, to to link into that, maybe a lax, a, you know, a lapse in concentration at times. Um, work ethic, endeavour, I couldn't question. And as I said, you know, a lot of our physical output in games has been very, very comparable, and if not better to, you know, games that I t- I took at West Brom last year. Um, so probably the decision making would be that would be the big one. Um, maybe sometimes a mentality, a mentality to live your life like a full time footballer, and like everything means. Being a full-time footballer, um, you know, I think sometimes, sometimes, some players, um, some players can, you know, go through a, go through the motions of playing a game, and whatever the result of the game, there's another game next week. You no, know, every game is important. You've got to, you've got to attack every game in isolation, and you know, and try and max out three points in every game. Among the positives, you obviously managed to keep a number of players on loan. You've got them now for the rest of the season. I think the likes of Reese Williams and Oli Shenton, people like that. We have, yeah. Uh, I think that's important that you know we we secure them because in, in my short time in charge, they've been been big players for the for the team and and for the football club. And no doubt we've you know we've lost Reese Williams. Reese Williams has been you know a, a big big player for us in terms of he has a calmness in possession, he has a quality in possession. He's obviously six foot three, six foot four, so he's a big physical threat with and without the ball in both boxes. Um, and he's also a very very good defender. And for for a boy who's such a young age, he's a very very good leader. So I think he's been a big blow losing him for them three games. Um, I think we've missed his missed his qualities and his attributes um, in, in our games. Ollie's a good footballer, a very very good footballer. I've known Ollie for you know since over the academy circuit, probably for the last four or five years. And I think Ollie's a player that you know breathes, lives and breathes breathes on confidence. And when his confidence is high. You know, you see another twenty percent out of Ali Shenton, so you know he's a, he's a good footballer. Um, you know, he, he's able to manage the ball in the tight and against pressure. Um, and Will's a big one. You know, obviously, I'm, I'm aware of how many goalkeepers that have been in the building already this year. Um, it's important to try and have that familiarity with um, with him and and your, and your back four, or your back five in front of them. You know, so they build relationships and are comfortable with each other. Um, he's a very very good goalkeeper. I think we're all hoping that you know. Not too far around the corner, he, he starts to pull off some clean sheets because some of his performances, he's made big saves. Um, and it'd be nice for him to, to breed some confidence and, and get a clean sheet.